Mr. Giroux, I want to thank you and your staff for your preparation helping walk us through this. I'm wondering what your calculations show related to the adverse impacts if the trigger is not hit and the elimination of CalWORKs, IHSS, and healthy families is required. The governor's theme for economic recovery was jobs, jobs, jobs. And I'm wondering what your calculations illustrate, not just the savings of elimination of the program, but how many jobs will be lost by a family member who will have to leave a paying job to take care of a disabled family member who's lost their IHSS support? Or what will the cost be to the state of somebody taken off IHSS who requires institutionalization still to be paid for by the state? What do your calculations illustrate um, job loss and added cost? I don't, I don't think we have an actual analysis as far as job loss or other impacts. We do try to um, recognize costs and other programs that, are, that result from, from those other cuts. Um, for more specifics, Mr. Buchan can help you. Thank you. Nick Buchan, Department of Finance. Um, as Mr. Drew indicated, um, the budget does recognize a cost shift to the Department of Developmental Services. And um, what sets that particular program apart from some of the others that I'll get into are um, that's a known entitlement. We have a, a, a tangible way of um, estimating how many um, IHSS recipients would go on to that program. Um, so associated with the, the proposed um, reductions, not trigger, but the, the proposed reduction to IHSS in the core budget, um, it is assumed approximately 50 million uh, general fund cost would shift to um, developmental services. Um, in regard to other programs such as nursing homes, um, there are a variety of um, uh, issues with trying to estimate that cost. Um, one of the core issues is um, the capacity in the nursing homes. There's, there simply aren't enough beds. So if, even if you were to assume that a significant portion of the IHSS pop population would um, go into institutional care, uh, there isn't capacity for that. Um, uh, another component is timing. Um, there, there's no question that there could be savings realized and um, that, would, that could take effect um, in a more immediate fashion than ultimately if some of these folks were to go into institutional care, um, the cost may occur at a later time. So you may have a, an issue of your, your, the costs are shifted to a future fiscal year. And the third issue um, is just simply uh, there's, there's not a clear relationship um, on a, you know, individual uh, by individual basis of what that particular individual would do. Um, a lot of the IHSS providers are, are relative providers, for example. In terms of that piece, in terms of job loss, either related to IHSS, have you factored in family members having to leave a paid job to provide the family support in the home for a disabled family member? The, the budget does not uh, uh, make us an assumption relative to that. The governor has indicated an allocation of $500 million towards jobs creation. Is any of that allocated towards hiring people who lose their jobs because of elimination of CalWORKs, IHSS, or healthy families? Well, the, the initial monies from that program would be from the uh, employment training program which to fund training. And then the actual additional funds is if that person that received the training was hired, remained on the job for a certain period of time. So it's not really specific to a particular individual. It's, it's more related to whoever receives the additional training. I understand, and I understand that training money would be taken from an EDD um, account. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, the way it would work is it's the, uh, it's the employment training funds, which are paid by employers now. The, it, that, that fund would borrow additional monies from the disability insurance fund and then over time, the employment training fund would pay back that loan from, from the disability insurance fund. Do you anticipate legal challenges to that? No, no, Martinez, Department of Finance, no. We don't anticipate legal challenge. I think what would be helpful in the projection of the impacts of if we don't hit the trigger, well, both the proposed cuts and then the program eliminations if we don't hit the trigger is to factor into the governor's commitment to job creation how much 
deeper in a hole do we go from job loss as a result of those program eliminations? But I thank you for the, the responses you've provided. And for Mr. Taylor, in your, I think, earlier response to the governor's budget proposal, you did identify in terms of budget, so actually it wasn't in response to the governor's uh, presentation in his budget. It was your assessment of where we, your, just your budget analysis going in to 2010, 2011. And you suggested uh, one category of exploring revenue options as part of an overall budget solution. And a few minutes ago you alluded to some of the governor's um, revenue options like trunk, Trunkey and Ridge. Um, are there any other categories not cited in the governor's budget that you think we would be well advised to look at in terms of revenue options? And forgetting for a moment uh, political resistance to revenue options, just looking at business activity in the state, sources of, of revenue and ec economic activity. Are there any other areas you would recommend we look at as part of a full budget solution, including cuts, borrowing, and revenue solutions? Well, I think the, it's the tax expenditures that come to mind first, the special provisions that where it's been shown that they're not very effective. And I think kind of the poster child for me are the enterprise zones, which you had a recent report from, from PPIC. Uh, and, and you've had lots of other studies that really question the, the uh, despite the, the well-intentioned thrust of those enterprise zones of generating greater activity in, in blighted areas. They just have not been shown to work very well, and that's, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars that we grant each year. So there's a handful of, of certain tax expenditures that I think um, would be well worth your looking at, and the advantage of them also is that they don't raise your overall tax rates, which is something I think you need to be cognizant of. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's helpful. Mm -hmm.